DPA jest high-endową marką tworzącą mikrofony. Jest to duńska marka, kojarzona z bardzo profesjonalnymi rozwiązaniami i właśnie naprzeciw oczekiwaniom klientów, którzy pewnie by chcieli mieć DPA, ale nie bardzo było ich do końca na to stać. Firmie DPA udało się wyprodukować i wprowadzić na rynek nowy mikrofon typu Lavalier. Hasłem przewodnim jest Upgrade to DPA. Ten mikrofon jest mikrofonem dookólnym, czyli patrzy zewsząd tak samo, o bardzo liniowym brzmieniu. Jest to mikrofon wodoodporny, kurzoodporny, ma certyfikat IP57. Są zakończone na stałe złączami do wyboru. Może być to, tak jak tutaj, TA4F, ale może być też Lemo, czy Jack do Sennheisera. Występuje w czterech kolorach, czarnym, białym, brązowym i beżowym. A to są też, to jest też nowa rzecz. To są koty, które się nazywają R1. Są o zupełnie innej konstrukcji niż reszta kotów dostępnych na rynku. Na stoisku mamy konstruktora R1, który na pewno więcej wam opowie o tym produkcie. Hi, I'm Timo. I'm also working with DPA and I am a senior project manager there and responsible for the entire wind protection of this product. And uh, we develop the R1 uh, to accompany basically all DPA lav mics, um, but also it's compatible with all other lav mic phones out there. And the ambition on this windshield was actually to revolutionize uh, the windshield as it is. And that's for a couple of reasons. With all other manufacturers out there or with, with uh, the existing state of the art windshields, you basically have a sack of fur. And then you have to put the microphone and the microphone is wobbling around in it. And you have literally no control of what the microphone is doing in the windshield. And the next one is that um, they are often hard to handle in stressful situations. So you are out there, you're shooting in, in an ENG scenario, let's say, and you have to just throw on a windshield and then usually you had to find the hole, I have to like open it up and then you need the third hand to in insert the, the microphone. So the first idea behind this windshield was to uh, improve the, the, the workflow as much as possible. So the idea is that it has the tactile feedback on the arm so you can feel it even blindfolded and then you just open it and insert it and you can do that while you're even not looking at all. And the next thing about it is that it has a stop built in which means that the microphone always stays in the perfect spot acoustically and also in the uh, perfect spot in terms of wind rejection, so it's furthest away from the fur. And the other thing which we then used is that inside there, the microphone is held, I don't know if you can see it, in a space, like I said, is furthest away from the fur, but it also is right next to a boundary surface just behind the capture. And that boundary surface amplifies frequencies and those frequencies aren't picked randomly there. Those are the frequencies that are actually attenuated by the fur. So what we're doing here acoustically is we are equalizing the microphone so you can't hear that a windshield is on. Meaning that normally you put in a, a, a fur windscreen and it muffles the sound immediately. With this one, you throw it on and it sounds as brilliant as before. So that's the quick guide through the Air One. And it's available in six colors, obviously, so it matches with your wardrobe or your skin color or whatever you have.